Hopefully you can see me. Pen. Turn the volume down, otherwise you're getting double bubble. Hello. How are you doing? Got a few people here, that's good. Hoping you can hear me okay. Give me a shout if you can hear. Good. Yay. Ah, thanks for joining me of an evening. Um, bit of a strange month, time, all the things. And um, obviously we normally do this on a weekend, but I was booked to go away last weekend. That ended up being cancelled for various family reasons um but i thought soon as we'd booked it for today anyway that we may as well continue with it um it's been a bit of a day today <laughs> um and i'm feeling a little frazzled i know i feel like i say that every time i come on um but i shall explain all the reasons why i'm feeling frazzled once we begin um nothing horrendous just lots of very irritating things but I'm here. Um, as I said on the message, um, I feel like the stencil for this month was fairly self-explanatory. So I don't know if it really requires a masterclass or whether there would be better use of our time um, kind of covering other things, I guess. Um, I have got the new stencils to share. I've got some new stickers to show you and a couple of other bits and some other important updates which I'll go through. So I guess while we're while I'm having a drink of my coffee, which is very needed, I've basically come home, shoveled some food into my face, made a coffee and come straight upstairs. Um, Freckle has the raging ump because it was time for us to sit down and have snuggles. And she's like, what? Where are you going? Um, it's fine we can cuddle afterwards and we can watch the last ever holby city um so yeah give me a shout on the chat if there's any stencils that you'd like to see demoed or any questions or anything in particular that you want to see i have most things here now um and then i will begin um first thing i guess to show everybody you should all have this stencil by now i'm hoping this is the march vip stencil which was the house the spring clean house um i wanted to do something different i don't do a huge amount of shaped stencils for the shop just because they don't fit neatly into any categories we've got our miscellaneous box but it's a lot easier if they're in the fileable formats um so yeah i want to do something different and i thought the house would be quite a nice thing to do for spring cleaning um you then got this little jobby which was i i bought them i ordered them for the unwind box to be part of the mandala maker but as it was when they arrived i just wasn't happy with how they moved um this one's not so bad actually um but they're supposed to what i was wanting to use it for is to basically use it to draw the instead of the grid stencil that you have for them excuse me for the mandala um so you could draw out a grid and then use the shapes on top of it so in the video that they create with this you should be able to draw a nice circle by putting your pencil into the hole and going around and what i found yeah it's going to do it now is that as you go inwards the stencil doesn't move as cleanly oh no you've lost me let me check that i'm still here according to mine and i'm still going on my one maybe just refresh your screen might be 
still here, good. Hello, Flora. Um, so yeah, this was the problem. It does this, it gets stuck when you get the smallest circles. Um, and then you can use this, rotate it and kind of divide your circle up. That's me just playing with it. Um, but yeah, it didn't work in the way that I wanted it to. So we ended up going with a different direction. But I thought you guys should have them rather than me dispose of them because that's no good from a plastic perspective. Um, oh, Gemma, you're shouting with your capitals. Uh, oh, Carol, you're using your mobile data. Whoops. Uh, good, everyone seems to be here. So, yeah, that's that's what this was for. Um, I hope you can get some use out of it. Um, but it definitely didn't work in the way that I expected it to work. Let's just say that. Um, Flora Bean's just come in and she's having a munch on her dinner behind me. So if you can hear eating, it's not me. It's Florith. I've been... Right, let me show you the new stuff and then we'll do some Q&A stuff. So I've got all the new stickers. So. Ah, yay. Yay, Gemma. Yay to stenciling at school. Um, obviously, we've got two ranges, which you've seen previews of them. The whole thing for April is going to be rainbow and monochrome. So all of our rainbow stuff is these. I'm hoping you can see them. So we have days of the week. And there's five sets of the days of the week on the daily headers stencil. Am I close enough? Let's come down a little bit so you can see a bit better. So that's the days of the week ones. We have headers. Um, and you've got four sets, too small, too big. You have monthly headers, two sets, one small, one big. Um, and then we have 2022 stickers and 2022 tabs. And we've changed the design on these slightly, you will have noticed. Um, what we found with the other ones, and let me see if I've got the other ones is that they're great, I love them, and I'm still using them, but um, there they are. Sorry, I'm just hearing a crash through my door and the cat's up here, so it probably means there's a random cat just let itself in. Um, so the old ones were like this, so we've updated into this. So all of these stickers have the hole punch area, so they're easier to store. Um, they're all an uncoated paper now rather than shiny so you can write on them and all of our stickers are going to be exactly the same material we were using one uncoated for the writable ones and a shiny one for the others we're using this for everything and then we've changed it so that they're not um, block colour and block colour here because we found that if you were for example doing I don't know clacky for March if this were pink, it wouldn't go with it, whereas we're hoping by having the rainbow colours that they kind of go with everything. So it makes it more universal. That's the thinking behind the change. Um, and then we've got 2023 versions of them as well. So all of those will be out in April. And then, yeah, the uncoated is much nicer. We've It's taken quite a lot of time. You wouldn't think it was that difficult, but to find a sticker manufacturer that will cut based on our requirements with a paper format that you can actually write on because that's not what most stickers are for so we've got there eventually and then we have the monochrome version which is all a white background with the apricot font in black um for these ones so we've got the month headers we find them um, the um, journal headers and the day headers and then we have our 2022 stickers and these should be I don't know if Kate's here but if she is she'll be able to tell me because I can't remember I think they're exactly the same as what was in the 12 days of planning um we've added the hole punch area but I might be wrong I can't remember so we've got the calendar stickers and then the tabs and then the 2023 versions of the same. 
calendar stickers and tabs i hole punched these today can you tell that i don't normally do it and i balls it up but they're mine so it's fine <laughs> don't worry yours won't come with that that's just me um so that's all the stickers we then will have um we've got more black paper pads landed um they are bumper they've got double the amount of pages as the previous ones and then we have the colored paper packs which are double-sided and they're packs of 100 sheets so 20 of each color and that goes with rainbow and then we've got the washi tape which i don't have here because they haven't landed yet but they will be here in time hopefully um and then very exciting we have to go with rainbow uppercase cherry five centimeters lowercase cherry five centimeters and hold on missing one missing one missing one she says there it is what? cherry numbers five centimeters okay Nate um, and then for the monochrome, we have uh, apricot font, five centimetres, uppercase, apricot font, Nate, I will take your payment when I see you next, um, apricot lowercase, five centimetres, and apricot numbers five centimeters if anyone is wondering who nate is that's kate's husband <laughs> just talking to a random person that's just joined us it's okay we know him it's like santa okay so that's the rainbow stuff and the apricot stuff i hope that makes sense and then we do have a load of washi tapes as well which will be joining us um i have some bad news before i begin um the bag i know i had promised for april it turns out that the bag is going to take a lot longer to get here than i had hoped for and it's not actually going to be here in time for the april launches we're probably looking end of may now um so apologies we got very excited we've done photography thinking that they were going to be here next week. They're not. Um, there's some delays. So as soon as the bags arrive, we'll get them out. We have all the photography. We're ready to go. Um, yeah, I am. It's just the beginning of the disappointments of this week. Um, let's do a spread and I will moan at you all. It's like my therapy session. Um, where should we start? So I thought I might do a spread with the cherry stencils and maybe some of the new stencils. I'm going to grab those out if everyone's up for that. Um, I need to do a little plan. Oh, I didn't bring the luggage washi home. That's annoying. Um, but I need to do a, I'm supposed to be going, I am going to Singapore in april so i wanted to do a spread for planning if you guys are up for joining me for that so let's grab my pen and think about it ah oh, thanks claire yeah i'm really sad about the bag because i kind of wanted to get it out asap so that people could use it for their travels because i think it'd make a very good carry-on bag <laughs> if anyone's going away um hopefully it won't take as long as we uh, fear that it will and it will be, still be here in the next month but we will see so basically carol the um the bag has been delayed um and we're thinking it's gonna be probably end of may now um so yeah apologies it's very frustrating um i've decided to do a just as an aside i've decided to do a spread 
um, about Singapore, but I can fill in all the information. Yeah, the thin washi, very exciting. So um, we've decided to kind of dip our toe in the water of thin washi. Um, and we've brought out a range of five washi that are, just realizing how to spell Singapore, to find out what the central letter is, A. Um, five thin washies that are the colors of the Oopsie Daisy rainbow. So they will match all of our rainbow things. They're five centimeters in width, so they make really good page dividers. Um, yeah, very exciting. Um, just gonna draw here. So back to me complaining about my day. <laughs> um, I don't know if anyone's been following on social media, but I'm having a complete Western with my kitchen, which is an ongoing drama. This week, all of the tile has, well, actually the end of last week, all of the tile was taken off um, and is being redone slowly. Um, well, now I was told maximum two weeks for my kitchen to be installed. We're now, tomorrow will be the beginning of week six. So very much over what was promised. It's all just been a bit of a pain in the bum hole, to be honest with you. Um, so that's happening. And then on top of that, I requested, so when you guys purchase anything via um, card, not PayPal. It goes through a payment provider called Stripe. Um, and I requested a withdrawal of funds from the Stripe account at the beginning of last week. And long story short, the money's gone missing somewhere in between Stripe and my bank. It's quite a big chunk of money that was needed in the bank for paying bills. Um, so that's really annoying. Um, and I've been chasing it since last Monday. Um, annoyingly, the company is based in America and their call center is based in India. So I'm just being sent round in circles and they keep telling me they're investigating it and they can see that the money has been blocked, but they don't really know why. And since then, I've had another payment from them come through that was scheduled and that's come through absolutely fine. So there's not really any reason that they can explain to me why it's got stuck. It's the business's money and it's, you know, due to us. So I go round and round in circles with them. So that's been a fun <laughs> Fun times basically meant that uh, I haven't been paid. <laughs> you know, I live off my credit card. That's fine. So that's that's very irritating. Um, then what else happened today? Oh, yeah, we found about the bag and that was going to be longer. And then we had all of these paper pages printed that we've been collating into hundreds. Turns out the printer shorted us by a couple of hundred sheets on each colour. So I've had to chase that up. Um, we've had some something delivered for the 12 days of summer box um, that the courier says has been delivered. Um, and it's been signed for by someone, <laughs> but it isn't at up to daisy HQ. So not really sure where that's gone. So I got, I'm in the process of trying to find that out. Um, and then we had some other printing stuff turn up um, and the cut lines have been done wrong on the stickers. So I'm also chasing that. Um, oh, the website also broke <laughs> um, through no fault of our own. So um, on my day off, it's basically been a bit of a run of it. On my day off on Thursday, I looked, checked in, I got an email and Basically, anyone that was had ordered from us, the order was sitting as pending payment, regardless if the payment had been taken. 
So um, because there's multiple ways for you guys to pay, so you can pay by PayPal or you can pay by Stripe, um, what happens is the payment's received, the website sees that and it puts it to processing, which means we know that we need to pack the order. Um, and it wasn't doing that. It was all just hanging as pending payment, but I could see in PayPal and in Stripe that the payment had been received contacted the website people and they basically said um it looks like it's a plug-in problem which for those of you that aren't websitey plugins are basically what we add to the website to enable any additional functionality so i don't know tables courses um search bars anything like that is a plug-in and what it turned out had happened is that one of the plugins had updated their plugin without testing it properly. It conflicted with something else and was causing loads of issues. But it took a day of time, the whole of the afternoon of my day off on Thursday, plus the whole following afternoon, me and Kate trying to sort it out. Um, and we basically end up having to roll back. Um, the version of the plugin and it's working for now and we've turned off auto updates which is fine but then I had to manually go through and check all the orders and see whether we had payments from them and convert them into processing so that Tracy could then pack them um yeah <laughs> that's been this week um and it's only what day is it today Tuesday <laughs> so the last kind of five days have been insane and what's really frustrating, let me get it all out because it's like, as I say, it's like a therapy session for me here, um, is I'm supposed to be going to Singapore, I am going to Singapore, as long as I don't get COVID or Singapore don't shut down the borders, um, in April. And I'm really trying to get everything I need done prior to going. This is my list of things that I have to do before... I go on holiday because I need to get all of my bits done so that everyone else can carry on doing their bits while I'm gone. Um, things like the 12 days of summer, etc. So I'm trying to do that, but I've basically spent the last two days going around in circles with Stripe and the website and chasing people because they've said things are supposed to be delivered, but they haven't been delivered. Um, yeah, websites are an ongoing str a struggle. I basically feel like I spend most of my life going, oh, the website's broken again. Let's find all the reasons that the website could be broken. Figure it out. Ugh. So, yeah. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's fine, <laughs> she says. Um, and actually, whenever I do spend time journaling with you, it is very cathartic, so I appreciate you listening to my whinges. And I am aware that with everything going on in the world, these whinges are super minimal. Um, I am lucky that I have these sorts of problems. Things could be a lot worse, but they are very frustrating. I am just drawing a world map. I will have to concentrate because the world is tricky. You are all here with me and I really appreciate it. And it always feels better after I've had a nice, enthusiastic planning session with you guys. Um, As a plus point, I don't know if anyone uh, saw on, I think it was Bullet Journal Squad the other day, someone asking the question about badges. I can't actually remember who it was now, so apologies if it was you and you're here. But we have a badge maker at HQ. It arrived and I'm very excited about it and Kate and I made our first badges yesterday, which was amazing. The crafty Lupita presenter Joe was very happy to play with a badge maker. So 
So there may or may not be badges in your future. Just to collect. I'm just reading more messages as they pop up while I'm drawing the map. You just missed me doing a little tour through of the new products. Um, I can do a very quick recap if everyone's okay with that afterwards. Um, I did start a little bit early, so that's probably my fault. So I've got a lovely heading and a map. I need to add some colour to this um, and then I'm going to do things like all the, the stats about Singapore um, I'm going to create little areas for those um, what I should have looked up beforehand is I don't know what the flag of Singapore is which is really bad I should know that um, red and white so I think Singapore might be a bit random um, as a holiday destination, but my cousin moved there to work in, I want to say October. Um, she's super brave and she is amazing. She's a proper boss career lady and she's moved to Singapore for work. So I'm going over to visit her, which will be really exciting. Um, I'm going to do a little signpost as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we've got um, the new products are the stickers, the stencils. There are some stencils which I'm yet to complete, which I'm happy to tell you about if you want to know, um, which basically puts me under pressure to actually finish them, which is fine, because I totally plan on doing that, um, and washi tape. So um, the stencils that I have so far, we've got the five centimeters, they're all five centimeters, so we've got apricot, font in upper lower and numbers and we've got cherry font in upper lower and numbers we have the range of rainbow stickers and we have the range of monochrome stickers we have the black paper pads and the colored paper we have washi tape black and white washi tape we have the rainbow skinny washi tape and the pencil washi tape and then the so it's all monochrome versus rainbow is the theme of april um so my additional stencils that i'm yet to finish this was another kate will um tell you that we have days in the office where basically we go a little bit crazy i guess the ideas go a little bit off the wall um and i had the idea we wanted to do a red panda stencil basically because of the film turning red is that what it's called turning red going red turning red i think um so we with our we've got festive friends and we've got spring friends so i'm going to be creating rainbow friends which are four animals that have colors in their names and we're going to do monochrome friends which are four animals that are black and white so the four animals that are have colors in their names are a pink flamingo 
uh, red panda, uh, blue whale, and purple emperor butterfly. It is usually Wednesdays. I've only just written them down and I've already forgotten. And then the monochrome ones are zebra, badger, I've already forgotten, zebra, badger, I can't remember, what are the other two? Mm. Hands up if you can think of a black and white animal. I don't know if it was panda because we've got a red panda. Do we need a black and white panda as well? They're a little bit different. There was four. Zebra? And we've got a blue whale for the coloured ones. Hmm. I can't remember. <laughs> I haven't finished them yet. We've already got a penguin stencil, so it wasn't penguin. been a skunk I haven't finished them yet I've only just started um something really obvious and I can't think of what it is a zebra what else is black and white I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. No, it wasn't a cow. Because at some point we want to do farm friends. <laughs> yeah, check the WhatsApp, Kate. <laughs> Kate's been at home today. And whenever we check our WhatsApp, there's so many messages. It basically is impossible to find out the information we want because there's like 500 billion photos gone, gone back from the forwards. And I'm like, does this look like a zebra? Oh, I really can't remember what it was. Yes, we'll definitely do farm friends. That's going to happen at some point. It's on my list. Um, oh, rhinos. It's definitely rhinos. I think the fourth one was to be confirmed. Um, I feel like I've missed a natural stencil question while I was talking about rain like rainbow animals. Uh, Claire says, I'm struggling with plastic stencils as they're more flexible. They tend to move when the plastic is thin. How can I help my stencils keeping flat? So I always, I use, I'm rubbish because I just use my hands. Um, so whenever I'm doing anything that I'm drawing, I use my hands to hold down the side of the stencil that I'm drawing. So for example, when I switch to this side, I will use my hands on this side. But definitely washi tape. Um, washi tape is definitely a an easy fix. Just put it in the places where where you tend to have issues is if it's long long strips taken out because it loses the stability. Um, I don't know if anyone else has got any top tips.
So has anyone been to Singapore? Does anyone have any top tips for me? My cousin's already booked us into quite a few different places. I know we're going to Raffles, which I think is where the Singapore sling was invented. Um, we're going to a sky park, which looks terrifying for me, but I'm sure it'd be beautiful, which is basically a garden on top of like a high rise. Yeah, we have a sloth stencil already. Um, and also, I think, aren't they brown? Hmm, not sure. <sighs> Gardens by the Bay, yes. <laughs> I'm glad you know where I'm going. I have no idea. Um, what I want is my little witty bitty. National Orchid Garden, okay. Yeah, we've definitely had a sloth before. Yes, we're going to Raffles Hotel. We're going to somewhere called the Atlas Bar, I think. Is that the same or different? I think that's different. hoping you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm basically just adding some decoration. I'm going to use it to save all the things that I learn about Singapore. I like going to new countries. I'm excited to try new food. Has anyone got any tips for eating in Singapore? Um, just thinking of what else I have to tell you. Oh, actually, we do have some news. Um, next month, because I'm on holiday, we will have a guest host for the monthly um plan with me I hope she doesn't mind me saying I'll pause in case <laughs> in case she doesn't want it announced yet for whatever reason
Ooh, silence. Silence is coming. <laughs> so, our guest host for the monthly plan with me will be Gemma. Yay! Um, so Gemma has very kindly offered to step in um, and do a monthly plan with me in the Bullet Journal Squad group. So um, Kate will be doing one at the beginning of April. I actually think it might be next Sunday. Is that right, Kate? Because Kate is away. Kate's away for a week and then I'm away for two weeks. So Kate and I will have nearly a whole month of not seeing each other. How will you cope, Kate, without my crazy in your life every day? I will message you from Singapore with, I've had an idea at least once a day, just to keep you on your toes. Um, so Kate is doing next Sunday and then Gemma is doing, I think it's the 20, I've got it in my thing, 24th Gemma, is that right? Um, so, um, that's really exciting. Um, you know, I will message you from Singapore, All right? I'm going to be by the pool. I'm going to have a lot of time to think up crazy ideas. Um, yes, the calendar will be going out this week. Um, it's on my list. It's on my mammoth list of things to do. If people keep stop messing up my week, I will get through my things to do a lot quicker. If I wasn't living in a building site, I'd also get through my to-do list a hell of a lot quicker. <sighs> Dipsticks. I know the kitchen company are ridiculous. Ridiculous. They tiled an entire section of my tile upside down. Um, yeah, so it's going to be awesome. Annoyingly, I probably won't be able to watch because of the time difference. Um, but I'm sure Gemma will smash it and I can watch it when I come back. It's something to look forward to. Um, And then when I get back, it's pretty much May, and then it's seven days of self-care, it's National Stationery Week, um, it is almost time for the 12 days of summer to be sent out, lots happening. Now, do you think I have enough room to write statistics, or should I just make this stats? Statistic. I reckon I can put it in. Bonus last words. This is Clacky Mini. Too late, Tammy, I've committed now. I'll squish it up, it'll be all right, it'll be okay. This pen's about to run out as well. Thanks, pen. Let me grab another pen from the bag of wonder. It's going to be snug. Statistic. I mean, that is bad grammar. Is it a good job? I don't care. Hmm. I wonder if I go. Hold on. 
It's the classic Joe changing the design. It's like, hey man, fixed it. Oh, that's a good point, actually, Gemma. Um, oh, Nate. Mate, you should have spoken sooner. Um, it's okay. We fixed it. Um, I will have a plan. Um, we often have, like, a tiny handful of stickers left over from the big one and the mini one and often those stickers we're not going to stock long term um but we have to have a certain amount because you can't order in very specific numbers so what we're going to do is add them to the vip shop so any leftovers will go up for sale to the vips um, and I have plans to do that at some point in the next week or so. So I don't know if we've got any of those left, but if we have, I will get them on so that you can order them. And then we actually have some other solutions from a tab point of view coming soonish. Um, I can't believe I forgot my washi tape. That's very, very disappointing of my life. Um, right, what do I want to do next? Um, I'm just looking up some Singapore statistics so that I can add them to my... So Singapore's kind of here-ish. I was going to put that on. Now, do I want a big arrow or do I want a Google pin? Um, maybe a big arrow is kind of here, isn't it? My Wikipedia page is what I'm looking for. So, there we go. Population of Singapore is five million people, 453,600. Language is Malay. Singapore dollar. Uh, what else do I want to know? Oh, I've lost you all. There you are. Oh, 
Oh, where have I gone? Can you see me? Hmm. I would say the one that lasts the best for me, although it has just run out. Um, I like a Pigra Micron PN. It's less temperamental than a Micron. Um, but I do love a Micron as well. And I also love a Stadler um, fine liner as well. Um, I use this one. Pigment liner rather than a fine liner is my Stadler of choice. So I don't know if Gemma has plans for what she will be doing in the plan with me. Are you doing a monthly spread, Gemma, or have you... Uh... The Pigmas and the Stadlers, there's lots of different pen thicknesses. So if it's your first choice, if you have your first time, they do do a pack of pigment liners from 0.05 up into a really thick one. I think there's like six in the pack. Um, and then you can play with them and see which ones you work and it's always worth having the other ones for um, if you want a thicker line. I like a 0.3 in a Stadler and I like an 04 in a Micron. Fun facts. Um, Um, I think it's 13 hours, if I remember rightly. Let me just check. No, oh, it's not going to tell me. What other stats should I include in my... Oh, Carol, how annoying. Um, I don't know if you can get... Um, what do you call it? Uh, captions? No. Because it's live, that's annoying. I want some other stats to fill in this area. Can anyone think of what else I might want to include as my stats of Singapore? Time.
capital city. Now, does anyone know the capital city of Singapore? For me to add to my spread. Oh yeah, I could have done distance from the UK. What the time difference I think is seven hours, but it might be less now because we've changed our clocks. So it might actually be six hours. Um, official language is Malay. Um, I'll put distance from UK. Distance, what else did you guys say? National flower. Fill all these in now. Uh, I need six more things. It might be actually. I think you might be right. I think the capital city of Singapore is Singapore. These are all things for me to fill in. Chicken rice is considered the national dish. Luckily, I like chicken and rice. Singapore, okay. What is the major religion of Singapore? Is it Buddhism? Um, I need the religion, the time difference, I think that's six hours, and then I need this many more things, Buddhism, yeah. Fun facts about Singapore that you never knew that you needed to know. What can I put up here? Right, let's add some colour, shall we? Uh, have I got the nice red pen? Seven hours. Is it still seven hours now? I had a feeling that it changed. Maybe it was eight hours before. Banda Miss, how am I saying that? Hat Quim? What is that? Like, So I could add a flag, that is a good point. Then I need to draw a flag, guys. the flag look like? I need six more facts. If anyone feels like finding them I would be very grateful um, and I need to draw a flag of Singapore which looks like half and half. And 
as a crescent moon. And five stars. President. Is well, there's a president and there's a prime minister. How Imar Jacob and Lee. Full. I'm back. Hopefully you can see me now. It's because my battery's dying. Hopefully you can all see me. I'm back. Can you see me? Hopefully you can all see me. Yay. This Tombow's very squeaky on this page. I could be filming some ASMR. Goodness. You know what? I don't know that we do have any customers in Singapore. Um, not as far as I'm aware. That's a challenge, isn't it? We should totally do that as a um, one of our fold out maps cross off as we have orders in those countries. Um, we do have some quite far away. We have some regular customers in Australia, um, definitely America. I think we had a customer in Kuwait. Hoping if we manage to get wholesale up and running successfully, we might get some overseas wholesale customers to spread the word. 
and with local chipping. Squeaky, squeaky. Quite a lot of Europe. Um, we have up to daisy customers. Um, say we have had up to daisy customers in South Africa. Not regular, um, but we have. Definitely America. Um, definitely Australia. Uh, I was trying to think. Not really Asia, um, but then I haven't been, but I think there's lots of um, amazing stationery in Asia already. Um, trying to think. A lot less than we used to, thanks to Brexit. Um, we used to make up quite a significant portion of our subscription boxes, but um, that's definitely dropped off, um, understandably. Wonder if this works any good. I just wanted to change these spots to white. I think this might be too. Yeah, I don't think Asia need our stationery. Very cool stuff. Reasons why I want to go to Japan. To come back to those in a minute they need a couple of goes thanks lisa i need two more facts but i feel like this is a fun spread it gives a little bit of um background information into singapore for me i don't know what your thoughts are guys but i'm pretty happy um, what I do need is Super teeny and has lots of money. I think that's what we're learning about Singapore. Which is why so many of their uh, buildings are high rises. My cousin's apartment is like on the 31st floor or something crazy. And I'm scared of heights. So 
that's going to be fun <laughs> for me. I'm basically just going to be indoors hugging a wall, nowhere near the balcony. Sweet. So I hope you all learnt something about Singapore during our <laughs> evening together. Um, I don't know if anyone has any burning questions. I don't actually even know what the time is. Anyone? 20 past eight. Okay, time for me to go and have a cup of tea. Um, I will be doing an events calendar. Um, it's on my list of things to do tomorrow and then I'll publish it to you guys as soon as I have it. Um, I can give you the hot dates right now if you want. Um, Big things are, on the 3rd is Kate's plan with me, on the 11th is our rainbow launch which means that you guys will get priority access on the 10th in the evening. Uh, the 14th is hump day mini one, woohoo, and crazy cats daisy doodles, and the 24th is Gemma's plan with me. Um, this is a Zebra Sensations, it's a mechanical coloured pencil. I don't know if you can see. I just don't have to sharpen it, basically. Um, but I will be releasing the calendar tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so this week tomorrow i'll hopefully drop the calendar thursday should be the prompts for the bullet journal squad challenge for april and friday i will be announcing our new creative team very exciting um They're very waxy. The uh, they're they're a very particular. They're not. They're more like a crayon than a pencil. I would say. Um, you can't really get like a very deep color with them, um, and they are very waxy. But they're quite cool because you don't have to sharpen them, so they're easy to use. Um, yeah. So that's this week, um, and then this weekend, nothing major. I don't think hopefully having my finish, kitchen finished. The Insta following is definitely something you can build up. I'd say the, um, the biggest thing we're looking for is an enthusiasm for product, um, the quality of the, um either the video like in terms of not necessarily you know we don't want perfect perfect stuff but what we want is relatable content that is aesthetically pleasing so it needs to kind of match our brand aesthetic i guess is the main thing um there's so many different styles of journaling and i know that the kind of oops -a daisy brand is very fun and playful so that's kind of the main things that we're looking for um, but yeah, the ability to create nice video content that people will be able to use. Um, yeah, not necessarily. I mean, when we say video content, the other thing as well is like thinking outside the box. So I've done before spreads where I've done step by step using a stencil. So not necessarily showing it as part of a video, but having the multiple steps 
on a spread that you can then photograph. Um, stuff that is useful for people to see, that's kind of what we're looking for really. Um, and an approachable, friendly manner. Yeah, it, it's the package. Um, and being able to create content that we can then share that is going to be beneficial to the customer. Well, that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, but we've got our first three members of the creative team, we hope. We've heard back from two, we're waiting on one. Um, and all being well, we should be able to announce them on Friday, which is very exciting. Um, and we're really grateful that um, we've had some really nice applications that's made it difficult for us for to choose, but, you know, exciting. Um, and I spent a long time trying to think about a way to, we didn't want kind of brand affiliates, if you were. We don't want someone that's like pushing sales to get themselves something, because then I think the content becomes less genuine. We wanted people that use the product and love the product to want to share the product, which is why we've gone for a creative team angle as opposed to a kind of affiliate angle. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you haven't applied but you want to, there is still time. Um, we have kind of no set boundaries. There probably won't be anyone else added in before I go on holiday, but yeah. Um, there's always potential for more. It's something that we'll review constantly. Um, but kind of the main goal of it is to produce the content that everybody wants in lots of different ways. So not just because I don't have the time to create how to's for every single video, which I don't. Um, but also because everyone uses things in a different way. So having me show you how I use something is not necessarily useful for everybody because you will all use it differently. And that is the essence of journaling. We all do it differently. If you wanted a um, set up that you didn't have the ability to do that, then you would just buy a planner. Um, the essence of the journal is that you have the ability to flex it to your needs. Um, it's exciting um, and I hope that you will enjoy what our VIPs, not VIPs, creative team will create. I'm just reading your messages. Yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah, you definitely don't want it to be, and that this is the kind of thing that we were looking for. We don't want someone that's kind of taking it on and it's going to be a chore because I think that shows, I know certainly for myself when I was doing too many live streams um, every week, it got to the point where I think you could tell that I was exhausted. <laughs> Um, and it shows in what you're creating because then you lose creativity. Um, and for a while there, I definitely stopped enjoying journaling. Um, I think I found my journal spark again. Um, sometimes it takes you to step up to do that. So we don't want people to commit to things that it's going to be exhausting. That's no fun for anybody. Um, Cool. Anyone have any questions about any of the new products, any stencils, anything they need me to show you before I skedaddle? Because after today, I won't be back on a live stream until May. So now is the time if you have any questions that you want me to answer to hit me with them. tidying while I'm waiting. 
definitely trying to get into the habit of tidying up after I journal because otherwise it's just a massive mess. Um, you can see the new bag. Um, actually, what I will show you quickly, but we did record a video um, because we thought it was going to be here soon. Um, <laughs> and the video is probably better because it's filmed in the daylight. I'll do a quick show and then I will share the video in the VIP squad. We probably won't be sharing it in general. Oh, actually, I've got something else to show you, she says. Um, these are something when we've decided against. But I remember when we last spoke on the VIP, I said that we'd got book covers um, and then decided not to use them because they weren't what we first wanted them to be but I said I'd show them to you anyway because we have the prototype so um basically this is them um this was the b51 and this was the a51 and the reason we decided against it is because it ended up being I'll show you because I've only got my own here this would need to go in here which is fine but then I didn't really know what I added because we felt like if you put your stencils, let me grab a stencil, or stickers in here, it wouldn't hold a lot. And also they'd get bent. Um, so we kind of decided in the end that it wasn't that useful and that it would be better to have and it also makes it ginormous then um better to just have a clear cover which i'm still trying to source um and the bags i don't know what your thoughts are this was the a51 yeah the a51 i don't have an a5 journal oh what ridiculous of course i have an a5 journal i've got loads hold on This is a super old A5 journal. So you had to have that in there. And then if you put these in here, they kind of, it bent them. Um, so it does fit, but it didn't hold a massive amount of stuff. You couldn't really use these pockets because then you start bending the stencils, if you see what I mean. Um, I don't know, I just wasn't, I wasn't convinced by them. I didn't love them. Um, and I'm kind of going by the rule now that if I don't love them, then let's not do them, let's not, because it's such a massive amount of money to have anything made bespoke. Um, yeah, if I don't love them, then I probably couldn't sell them, <laughs> was my... They're kind of a felt, almost. Um, and we got them debossed. Um, but the, the biggest thing for me is that every time you wanted to use the journal, you then had to open that and you had to take this out. And then you had to, like... Yeah, I, it, I'm glad you agree. Um, they didn't do it for me. They weren't, they weren't working for me, but I said I would show them, so this is them. Um, I'm get tra looking for clear covers, and I've got some prototypes coming of those, um, which hopefully... Yeah, I think if they needed less pockets, then it's kind of a bit of a pointless. You may as well just use the pouch, like Carol says, um, because what does it, what does it bring? What does it add to the range? Um, so yeah, we decided against it. Um, I'll quickly show you the bag. Hold on, move, move this stuff. So this is the bag. Oh, it's all zipped up. The bag holds tons of stuff. So. This is the bag done up. What does it? I'm just 
watching my video I'm behind on my screen for some reason so this is the bag done up um, inside so you've got a front pocket and a back pocket on the front pocket there is embroidery my back my battery is about to die um, so the zipped pocket here The zipped pocket here is big enough for Tombows. And then you've got all of this area here. That is embroidered at the front. And then on the back, you've got the same. Um, let me show you. Another zip pocket with a big pocket and lots of pen loops. I've pulled all my pens out because I was using them today. And then on the inside, so you've got a short handle and you've got a long carry strap and this carry strap detaches at the ends. If you want to just use the short handle, you can do. And then in here, you've got two pockets. You've got a central pocket here. And then there's an area here and an area here and two more pockets. Um, they price is to be confirmed. Um, I need to look at the numbers. Um, but you're looking definitely in the region of kind of, I think, probably 40 to 45 um, with that, including that. Um, they are really high quality um it took us a long time to find a supplier that we were happy with and get all of the add-ons like the shoulder strap the extra pockets the extra compartments um they are big enough for let me show you i have my macbook in here every day i've been using it every day since i've got it they're big enough for you to put all of your bits in I have this wallet in there. Um, I have all my stickers in there. I put my MacBook in there. I can actually pack my bag for work tomorrow. Um, these go in. Um, it holds a ton of stuff. Um, this is only a very small amount. I've had an A5 in there, a ring binder in there. Um, my big old pencil case full of pens and pencils in there um my phone and my lunch i take to work every day um so it's it's nice because it's got this sort of top to it it means i can add the mat book in and there's enough room for it to flex um and then you've obviously got all the storage at the front and the back as well i hope that helps <laughs> what you were looking for um we also had them embroidered and they're really tough quality um, I have genuinely used this every single day since we got it about how long ago do we think it is probably six weeks ago easily um, I've used it every single day and then we used it this we took photography or yesterday um, with it so that's how you know it's it's not battered at all it's it's held up to me using it um, so I think it will be good for, I'm using it as my carry on for my holiday. You know, I genuinely am not lying. I have used it every single day. Um, and Kate's jealous because she wants hers <laughs> and they're still not here. Um, it's cool because it's got the long shoulder handle. It makes it really easy to carry. Oh, I hope that answers your questions about the bag. I don't know, I kind of whizzed through. It's very difficult to do with this, this camera. Um, but I will share the video, which is a much better video of me not scrambling with it. Um, any questions, thoughts? Otherwise, I'm going to shoot off and go and watch The Last Ever Holby City with Freckle Bean. Um, a nice cup of tea, maybe a chocolate bar. How I roll. Waiting to see. Thank you, Tammy. 
have a lovely April everyone obviously I will catch up with you all via the socials and the group um thank you in advance to Gemma and Kate for the live streams in April while I'm on the Oni Bobs um yeah That's it, I think everyone's gone. Bye guys. Lots of love. Oh, also, watch out. We have a an, another announcement. I'm gonna leave you on the edge. Um the in with the rainbow launch, which you will love. So yeah, watch this space. Bye, 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 bye.